Alright guys and welcome to my 14th pickup video. Can you believe it? Today is exactly a year since my very first pickup video. Unbelievable. Anyway, cheers, enjoy. Right, there is a lot of pickups this time. Um, mainly retro actually. I don't like calling it retro, but I guess most of you would class it like that. But um, yeah, there's a lot here, so I'm, a lot of it is going to be overviewed because I simply do not have enough time in the day to talk about a whole lot. I'm going to dive straight in with something that I forgot to show you in the last pickup video. Now, when I bought my Sega Saturn, they threw in a Sega Master System light phaser for God knows what reason. I'm not sure why on earth they thought this fit that console, but more than happy to have this, even though I still don't have a Master System. But when I do, I'll be using this a lot. One PSP game this time, and that game is Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Not played this yet, but I remember having a lot of fun on Monster Hunter Freedom 2, I think it was called. Burnt many hours into this game. Um, I imagine this game is going to be just an improvement on it, considering it's the third in the series, I believe. But um, yeah, I'm a big fan of Monster Hunter series, so I, I can't imagine me not liking this. Next we got a few Dreamcast games which makes a change. Um just gonna glaze over these, haven't played any of them yet. Well I have in the past. Well, well, well. Shut up Lloyd, just show them. Got it. Yes sir. Got it, right yeah. First being Quake 3 Arena. The classic that is Choo Choo Rocket. And then lastly Metropolis Street Racer, this being the one I haven't played yet, and I actually picked this up brand new and sealed. I had a lot of fun unsealing it. Um, this looks really good from the trailers and the videos that I've seen. It looks like a proper arcade racer, so I really look forward to playing this. Hopefully, you can see some of the screenshots on the back. It looks like a lot of fun to me. Absolutely cracking condition, obviously, because it's brand new. The others are in pretty good condition as well. But yeah, Dreamcast pickups, haven't had a few of those in a while. I think the last one I had was Marvel vs Capcom, like five or so videos back. Right, anyway, um, a couple of PlayStation 1 games, first being Lemmings and oh no, more Lemmings. Absolutely adore the series, this is a great game, really happy to have this. And then we have a absolutely amazing RPG in my eyes, a lot of people really dislike it, I'm not sure why but I'd highly rate it, I love it, I had a lot of fun on this back in the day and I'm very happy to own it again. And that game is Alundra 2, A New Legend Begins. Absolutely cracking game, highly recommended this one. Pick it up cheap as well. Right, one Sega Saturn game, and that game is Sega Rally Championship. Played a fair amount of this, there's only four tracks from what I can tell, but um, yeah, having a lot of fun on it. Classic arcade style. Good stuff. Right, next we have a PC game which is another rarity for me and that game is called Dawn of Fantasy and I've got the limited edition apparently which makes it shit because there's this horrible purple corner only available at game. Fucking hell itself. But yeah, um, yet to play this but this game intrigued me when I saw the trailer. Um, from what I understand, it's an ongoing online RTS game where you can command armies up to several thousand, I think. Um, you can play as human, orc and elf. Um, the graphics look absolutely supreme and I really, really look forward to playing it. An MMO RTS. Never heard of such a thing. Really look forward to playing it. It's free to play as well and it's by 505 Games, so it can't be that bad. I'll show you some of the screenshots when my camera wants to focus if my camera ever wants to focus which apparently it does not that blurry screenshot will have to do you right next we have a big old pile of Sega goodness and I'm going to show you the games that I got from a trade with 16-bit Brit I know most of you have seen that but there are some that missed out on it I'm just going to quickly glaze over them in this video first being a loose double dragon master system car a loose Sonic Spinball Mega Drive car, then Castle Blusion, Quackshot, 
Jurassic Park and Sonic the Hedgehog just thought I'd quickly glaze over that for all those that missed it um, that video hasn't got a lot of views in comparison to my other video so if some of you haven't clicked on it why? Um, yeah picked up a shit ton of Mega Drive games I don't know why I had no intention in collecting for this system but it just came along um, I've been using a seller on Amazon called Spider Games he's a really really good seller on there practically next day delivery and I've ordered a few and I think because I've ordered a few he recognised my name and he sent me this very nice freebie with one of the games and I can't remember what game it was for the life of me and I didn't get all these games off him I just can't remember which ones I did now but um, yeah he sent me a little toy Sega CD and 32X which is packaged Fuck it, I'm going to unpackage it because I can't make it visible in the packet. But that hurt a few people. I don't care, I'm not the one for keeping things new and sealed. But yes, Sega C Mega CD, sorry. Very cool. Be very nice to get the Mega Drive or Genesis, whatever it is. Very detailed. It also come with some stickers to put on a box for a game, I believe. actually has a working disk drive as well which you've only just noticed with obviously the case which the stick is supposed to go on a disk which the stick is supposed to go on Sega 32X add-on does that actually clip into there? not that I can figure out how but, um, comes with a control pad which is very cool what game is that? Virtua Fighter 32X can you see that? it is very detailed in life but I don't know if my camera is going to be able to pick it up bit of luck it will but I'm going to doubt it not a chance apparently and then the sticker for the disc which I have no idea what game that is supposed to be not a fucking clue but yeah I thought that was very very cool of him especially from an Amazon seller as well that's just completely unexpected right yeah um, on to the Mega Drive games that I have bought first being an awful game called The Adventures of Mighty Max but I remember the series uh, when I was a kid and I remember really really enjoying it um, I can't remember is this one complete yeah this one's complete with the cat in a dodgy position how is that happening this one is complete with even like the little promotional card and stuff pretty good condition hangy tag and everything the game is absolutely atrocious though like I said I bought it because I remember the series Next we've got a classic game which is incomplete, there's no manual, but that game is Fatal Fury, absolutely awesome game, a bit of a blue tonic, it's got a sticker patch on the case just there which I will get off, but I'm very happy to have this, absolutely adore that game. Next we have Tailspin, which isn't that great, but you know I remember playing it as a kid, um, in good condition, it even has a Sega sticker on the inside which I actually had to peel off myself and put on there so I don't even think this has ever been played next we have another game based on a series I remember from a kid and it's complete and in cracking condition and that game is Phantom 2040 I think I might do a gameplay on this one actually because it is a cracking game bit of a blue tonic again, I love that he has coined that phrase but yeah it's always nice to see the sides of the cases next we have the classic that is Lemmings cannot go wrong with that um, mine's a bit sun faded at the side I think my Lemmings logo is blue instead of green but you know I got this for pennies I'm not going to moan but the manual and cartridge 
was in cracking condition, no doubt there is a few creases on the manual now. Bloody pain in the ass these clips are. Thankfully the manual is somewhat unscathed from what I can see. It survived the fall. But um, no hangy tag and there's a sticker on the back but I'll get that off and sort it. I'm sure I'll get replacement cases at some point. I'm not going to show you that one yet because I think that's the best out of the bunch. Come on, sit somewhere. Come on, you can sit on the mandolin. Right, yeah. Next we have a incomplete Judge Dread, and I've just noticed something. This probably isn't gonna play, is it? That's fucking annoying. Judge Dread, Mega Drive. Quite clearly, a Genesis cart. Might have to send that back. I don't know. Maybe I can get a converter. Is there a converter for the Mega Drive? I can't be asked for sending it back. It didn't cost me a lot, but that is fucking annoying. <sighs> Let's put a down on things. But um, a box for Judge Red and a game that will hopefully work eventually for me. Bugger. Um, next we got a box then complete Mega Bomberman. Man. Absolutely cracking game, hangy tang and all. Awesome condition. Very happy to own that one. Then we have Mercs, which is an awesome game and made by Capcom. Did not ever notice that before, but yeah, cracking game. Then we have a box and complete and in mint condition, really. Aladdin, hang tag and all. Cracking game. Can't go wrong with these Disney games. Are always good in my book. They're particularly good on older consoles, but I even like the recent ones to be honest with you, I ain't gonna lie. Next we have a uncomplete Lion King, no manual, hangy tag though, and other than that in pretty spanking condition. Again, this is a fucking awesome game. Very fond memories of this one. Graphics are supreme. Then we have Statagate, which is actually a fucking cracking game. Now I didn't realise this game existed until I watched 16-bit um, Brit, uh, Brits recent Mega Drive package video. Um, the second I saw that there was a Stargate game, I had to jump on it. I'm a massive fan of the Stargate series, especially the movie. Um, this is actually a cracking game. I might do a gameplay on this as well. And it is complete and in cracking condition. And lastly, for the Mega Drive, we have a incomplete, but in very good condition other than that, Boogerman, a pick and flick adventure. Now this game, as far as I'm aware, is actually quite hard to get hold of, so I'm very happy to have it. I think this was a cartoon. I'm not sure. I even remember it being a cartoon, or I remember playing the game back in the day. I can't remember either way. I've played a fair bit of this so far, and it is actually quite fun. So, that was my Mega Drive pickups. Not intending to collect for the system at all, which is actually one of the main reasons I'm picking up games without a manual. I figure if I've got enough games without manuals, it's gonna make me not want to collect for the system because I've, I've really got no interest in it. I just want some games that I like to play on it. Right, next we have a couple of Xbox Originals. First being Dead or Alive Ultimate. I'll show you the side. And for those of you that don't know the game, it's actually just the first Dead or Alive game and the second Dead or Alive game in one. It's actually got a really cool manual because it's flippable. Oh, let's keep number two up though. So yeah, Dead or Alive Ultimate. And then we have Blinks 2. I don't know why I'm showing you the insides all of a sudden. I can have it now. But um, not played this one yet, but I'm a massive fan of the first Blinks game. So I look forward to playing that one. Next we have a few PlayStation 2 videos. Ah, that just clunked my teeth. I don't know why I did that. Uh, not with it. Too hot. First being Street Fighter Alpha Anthology. Now I got this because there's just not enough 
versions of Street Fighter 3 out there. I haven't played it that much and I'm having a hell of a lot of time playing it now. I really missed out when it originally came around. I'm not going to show you the side because it's a PS2 game which means it's wank. But all complete, very good game. I'll tell you what it includes. It includes Street Fighter Alpha, Street Fighter Alpha 2, Street Fighter Alpha 2 Gold, Street Fighter Alpha 3 and Street Fighter Gem Fighter. No, Super Gem Fighter, that's what it's called. <laughs> Don't know why. I've, I struggle to read those logos actually. They seem very blurry for box art. Or maybe it's just my eyes. Well, I'm going to blame it on the box art because I'm not going to the opticians. Right, next we have an insult. <laughs> A very good game actually. And that game is under the skin. And the reason I say it's an insult because it's been. It's got a new case on it, and they've obviously taken the case off of a fucking football game because it's got the FIFA logo there over the Capcom logo, which is just fucking blasphemous. I can't stand football. But um, this game is as zany as they come. I'd almost go as far to say that it's as zany as Beautiful Katamari. Um, you're an alien life form, you take over citizens of a city, and you're competing against other aliens, and you, you, the goal is just to get as many points as you can. Um, I mainly got it, one, it's a Capcom game, two, it's got Resident Evil characters in it, as you can see Nemesis and Jill on the back of the case. That was more than enough to make me want to play it. Doesn't Nemesis look like he should belong in Beautiful Joe 3 there? Completely unrelated to my pickups, but I don't know if you read the article recently that the developers of Bayonetta have said they won't work on a sequel to Bayonetta 2 until they've made Beautiful Joe 3, which is fucking awesome news. Anyway, back onto my pickups. Next is another Capcom game, which I didn't realise it was a Capcom game at first, and that game is called Bombastic. Or Bombastic? I don't know how to pronounce that, to be honest, but um, this is a sequel to a game called Devil Dice, which was on the PlayStation 1. Now, I remember playing the demo of Devil Dice on the PlayStation 1 way back when, and I really, really got addicted to the demo, and it used to annoy me that I couldn't find the game. Now I was looking for the game recently and I came across this which was a sequel and I thought I was going to pick it up anyway but what really sealed it for me was the fact it was a Capcom game. I have played a lot of this, it's just as addictive as I remember, it's got all the features of the demo from Devil Dice plus more, um, just absolutely cracking game, you just roll dice in order almost, I don't know how to explain it, it it's a puzzle game you're a little devil guy and you roll dice and the idea is that you you match them up almost like snap but you do it in a tetris fashion to blow up the dice more appear and you've just got to keep going until the board is filled up with dice i will do a playthrough of this one because it is very fun um i don't know why they called it bombastic though um, instead of devil dice 2 I'm not sure of that one I'll show you the back quickly so you can kind of gauge what it's like if it wants to focus, there we go, apparently the closer I go the, the better it goes into focus, but um, yeah very happy to have that game, I'd still like to get my hands on Devil Dice mind you. Right next we have the inevitable Xbox 360 pickups, none of which are particularly amazing, they're just collection fillers as I would like to call them. Next is a game that I got for 40 pence, and that game is Repeller Tournament Fishing. It's fishing, I'm sure it's going to bore me to death. But for 40p, I wasn't going to fucking say no now, was I? Next, we have a very, very weird beat-em-up called Wartech. I always thought this was a flight sim looking at the case, but um, well, I obviously never looked at the back before, but it's very, very, very strange and fucking hard as nails as well. Unfortunately, it's just got a plain white side. Next, we have something I'm probably not going to pronounce right and that is Baja Edge of Control not played this yet, um, it looks kinda cool can't really go wrong with most racing games but it looks pretty fun I will get around to playing it at some point, I'm just preoccupied with the Mega Drive at the moment next we have an absolutely atrocious game called Crash Time 3 now for some reason the Crash Time games seem to go for a pretty penny on mine at the moment, they're all like around the 20 quid mark, I found this one for a fiver so I had to pick it up um, think burnout but you're a cop and the cars don't control like cars 
with vo awful voice acting and cutscenes that you can't skip. I don't get why games like this even attempt to put a storyline in, because let's face it, none of us really give a shit, we just want to drive around and have fun. But um, I need it in the collection anyway. Next is another game I haven't played and probably won't play for a while, and that game is Stoked. Don't know what to say about it really. It's a fucking snowboard game. No doubt it isn't going to be a bloody penny on SSX. Next we have Clash of the Titans. I absolutely could not stand the movie, but I loved Wrath of the Titans. And I just think the first movie was done really poorly. I've yet to play this yet. It's got mixed reviews. I've heard it's a bit like the Warrior Princess on the PlayStation 1, which can only be a good thing for me. Something Woodlin said recently in one of his videos was he tends to like shit games and I, I can really relate to that because usually I like games that most people hate and it's not the anti-conformist in me, it's just shit games tend to be simple and I get on well with simple games but um, no doubt I'll probably play and finish this. And lastly for my game pickups and my 360 pickups, obviously because it's my game pickups you can tell the heat's getting to me. It's another Capcom game, one that I've been wanting to get hold of for a while now and I've always heard mixed reviews of it. Um, I can understand why but I think it's a very good game and that game is Azora's Wrath. Now this game is basically just one massive quick time event but um, look at it like an anime series in video game format where you get to control the outcome by the quality of your quick time event abilities. Um, I mainly wanted this because there's a Street Fighter 4 fight in it with Ryu and Oni's also in it as well. Um, don't let the fact it's quick t ugh, don't let the fact that it's quick time events put you off. It is a very good game. If you're an anime fan you're gonna absolutely love this. If you're a Capcom fan, just persevere. It's an acquired taste, but it's a very, very good game, highly recommended. Um, I can see this one retaining its value, funnily enough, as well. Just got a feeling. Right, one soundtrack this time, and a soundtrack I've not really got much interest in listening to, if I'm honest, but I saw it in a charity shop and I weren't going to leave it there, that's for sure. Never seen it before, and that is the soundtrack to 13. Um, yeah, apparently it's a load of DJs, which is why I won't be listening to it, definitely not my taste, but um, it's a video game soundtrack so I'm happy to have it. Next we have a couple of guides, because they were in Game Station's payday sales for one ninety nine a piece. Um, one of them I actually really needed as well, I've been looking to get the strategy guide for a while because that game is just kicking my ass, but um, the first strategy guide I got was Tomb Raider Underworld. Oh, it's always nice to pick up strategy guides, not for the sake of cheating and the helping hand, but because, I might be able to find it now am I, they usually have bits like this developer artwork and whatnot. I can't see if you can see that on the camera but um, yeah but that's mainly why I like these strategy guides because they have artwork which you wouldn't see anywhere else so uh, just look at it as a art book with a bonus walkthrough I guess bit of a backwards way of looking at it but um, yeah I really like owning these kind of things and for one ninety nine piece can't go wrong um, and next is the guide that I really did need because I've played this game a fair amount, I've probably put about 10 hours into it and I've still not got a single achievement, I don't know what I'm doing wrong and that game is some Dungeon Siege 3 so I needed to pick up the guide for that and for 199 that was the time and it's actually a very nice guide, very nice, uh, very well presented. This has got artwork and stuff in it as well which just makes it a bonus because I will actually be using this guide somewhat as a map to begin with as well which I completely disagree with as I mentioned in my other videos but for this one I really do need it, I want to get into the game but I just I can't find a fucking way around it anyway I told you there was a shit ton of pickup videos 
Right, as for other videos, I haven't been uploading them. I don't know why. I've hit a really lazy patch at the moment where I've got a ton recorded. I just cannot be fucked to upload them. I've got a really slow internet connection and it takes me often two to three hours to upload a video. That's probably got something to do with it, but um, in all honesty, I think it's just the heat getting to me. Some point within the month, there will be a bulk, bulk load of videos going up, including guitar covers and playthroughs. I have got them recorded. They will go up. I've just got to get round to it. I know at the end of this month I'm going to have a week off work, unfortunately, but I've got something planned for that month where I upload a video every day, but um, I'll reveal that in a later video. One year on and I've done 14 pickup videos. Fucking insane. Should be 12 really if I was doing one a month. Um, next pickup video I think I'm going to have another shed load of Mega Drive games because I've gone overboard and ordered one too many yet again. But yeah, I think that's it. Can't believe it's been a year. I've said that about six times now. I'm jibbering. Cheers guys. Enjoy. But not the heat. Bring on the cold weather. Cheers guys. Enjoy. Cheers. Enjoy. Cheers. Enjoy. Cheers guys. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Cheers guys. Enjoy. Cheers guys. Cheers guys. Enjoy. Cheers guys. Enjoy. Anyway, cheers. Anyway, cheers. Enjoy. Anyway, cheers. Enjoy. Cheers. Enjoy. Cheers. Enjoy. Anyway, cheers. Enjoy. Anyway, cheers, enjoy.